scientists know bacteria can travel high above the Earth, including bacteria that is resistant to antibiotics. They are existing on the ground, on plants, or in, in other places on the ground, and they evaporate up into clouds. The clouds move, it rains, and then the bacteria are spread to that uh, new location. Researchers from Quebec and France sampled clouds above a dormant volcano in France over the course of two years. They found antibiotic-resistant bacteria was moving in ways that had not been previously recorded. What we didn't know is how high they can be and how uh, far they can travel. And the fact that we found them in clouds highlights that they can travel for long distances. The concentrations of the bacteria taken from the clouds varied, and researchers said anywhere from 5 to 50 percent of these bacteria could be alive and potentially active. Considering that the atmosphere is a system that is pre pretty harsh for the bacteria, it's, it's quite a lot, actually. Infectious disease experts say there is a link between this research and the need to use antibiotics judiciously to treat bacterial infections. This is teaching us another way in which they have probably been spreading from one environment to another. And this underscores the need for us to reduce the likelihood of antibiotic resistant bacteria developing. And that's probably driven by uh, us uh, using less antibiotics. Other scientists emphasize there is more to learn, but there is no need to panic. I wouldn't panic with the next rainfall <laughs> because um, the spread of, of, of bacteria, microorganisms and all sorts of other particles, this is a natural phenomenon that's happened throughout the dawn of time. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.